One day, one poppy, 10 chicken sandwiches. Let's do it. This is Chicken Sandwich Showdown 2021. I did one earlier in the year. Chicken Sandwich Month, I called it. And I had some opinions, but not all the new sandwiches were out. There was some new stuff that came out, like the Burger King King, the new Hardee's hand-breaded chicken sandwich. And you know, it's been about half a year, now. I figured it's time to revisit these guys. So, I'm going to all these places. The most popular chains, and what I considered to be some of the best chicken sandwiches. And I just missed the curbside pickup for Chick-fil-A. You wanna do curbside pickup for Chick-fil-A. It's, it's the only way. Um, otherwise, you're in that two, two line deep drive through line, it's it's no fun. So, are you letting me through? You don't need to let me through. Uh, so we're going to Chick-fil-A first, guys. Um, and there's two ways you can do a video like this. There's, what you see most on the internet is you bring all the stuff back to your house and you eat it there. And that isn't really a fair option for me because Popeyes is nowhere near here. I gotta drive out of the way for Popeyes. So if I did that, the Popeyes would either be the coldest or the freshest, and it just, it's not right. So we're starting with Chick-fil-A. We're going down this road here that has just about everything. And I love the Chick-fil-A app. You can do curbside pickup. You pick which spot you're in. Cur Say what you will about Chick-fil-A, they have the most efficient uh, like drive-through operation. It's insane. You got two lines flowing through there constantly, frequently, quickly. Quicker than other places. Everything's ready, everything's fresh. They do a great job. It's really impressive. I will never fault them for that. I wish every fast food place was as efficient as Chick-fil-A. So what we're doing today is we are trying just the regular sandwiches. We're not doing spicy. Um, that's a whole nother ball game and there aren't that many spicy fillets. Chick-fil-A is one of the few spicy fillets and it's amazing. But you can only get those from pretty much from Chick-fil-A, from Wendy's. That's it, right? Pretty much. Uh, so we're not doing spicy, we're doing regular. They all typically just come with either their store's special sauce, a mayonnaise, or nothing. Two sandwiches that we're having today come with nothing, and this is one of them. Chick-fil-A does not put on a mayo, a sauce. It's chicken, pickles, and the bun, buttered toasted bun. So that was fast, and that's why I did curbside, because it says my order is ready and coming out. So. We should have that momentarily. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna move somewhere else here. We're gonna try Chick-fil-A's chicken sandwich and we'll start with that. All right, so start out with, I've got Chick-fil-A, original chicken sandwich. So fresh daily Monday through Saturday. I think I didn't put this off till tomorrow. So, your Chick-fil-A sandwich comes on this foil wrapper. A real classic. We open her up. So, oh, we're spilling. You know what? I have a tool for this. I have a stand or a little tray. Let's take advantage of that, shall we? Dun, 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 dun. You take the tray, you put the chicken sandwich down on your leg, which is gross and weird and hot. Don't do that. Okay, now we have a tray. Ta da! So, Chick-fil-A sandwich, what I found is the breading isn't always consistent. I mean, I've got breading falling off, I've got bits of breading, but it's there. And like I said, nothing on top, no mayo. All you got is on the bottom, you got some pickles. They didn't really space them well. Not really sizable. Kind of disappointing. Sometimes they're huge. This one, not so much. My problem with their pickles really makes the the bread saggy, um, or the breading. Chick-fil-A has a breading that can't really afford any sagginess, but none of that really matters. We gotta taste it, see how it is. 
<laughs> it's been a long time since I had one of these. The sandwich is so flavorful. It doesn't need the mayo. Like I said, it's got that buttered toasted bun, which is delicious. The fillets are all pressure cooked. Uh, they're super juicy. Super flavorful. The breading's flavorful. The pickles are great. I wish there were more on this one. Usually they're not so bad with it. But it's fantastic. So there's a reason people love this sandwich. This is the sandwich. And that's why it was such a big deal in 2019 when Popeyes came out with theirs. And people were saying, oh, this is better than Chick-fil-A. And we're going to find out here. Um, we'll see how Popeyes does today. You've seen me do this before, possibly. Pretty good. Pretty great. So, I can't eat all these sandwiches today. 10 sandwiches that would probably kill me. I did get Chick-fil-A mayo. It is better with the mayo, because let's be real, if it's just amazing without mayo, it's that much better with mayo. But we're not doing the mayo. I took too many bites of that as it is. This is my last day of unbridled gluttony. We're doing the chicken sandwiches. So next up, what is next on this road? I could go to Arby's. That sandwich is hot trash though. So I heard they were test marketing one that's like hand breaded and not garbage, but that's not out yet. So we're not getting that. Um, so let's go to the old KFC, Wendy's. Oh, it's next up. It'll be a surprise. Let's go there. All right, I'm back. We're at Wendy's. We've got their deluxe chicken sandwich or whatever they call it, right? Um, Wendy's, back in the day, used to be known for their chicken sandwich. It was like the best. And they had the spicy one because they do the spicy bread. Uh, they've recently revamped it. Actually, now they call it the classic chicken sandwich, I believe. I don't know what I ordered. I might have actually got the deluxe one that comes with all the stuff on it. Sue me. Um, so, yeah, that's what I did. Whoops. So, here's what Wendy's has going on for the chicken sandwich game. You can tell it's already kind of a thinner filet than Chick-fil-A. Still got a nice bun. And then they do have a couple versions. They have one with mayo and pickles. This one has lettuce, tomato, and mayo. Ultimately, same flavor. What we're really mostly judging is the fillets. Now, the other stuff helps and it needs to be good, but the fillet is what matters here. So, let's give it a bite. It's not a bad sandwich. This was $4.79 to get it with the tomato, lettuce, and mayo. And the filet though, I mean look at the filet, it's, it's not great. It, it almost tastes like a Tyson chicken patty I got out of the freezer. Bun, I'm not a huge fan of this bun. Um, it's almost a little dry. Man, that, that could be just this bun, but this isn't wowing me. This doesn't call $4.79 chicken sandwich to me, right? With all these competitors out right now, Wendy's just can't keep up. They haven't. They tried to. They have this stupid commercial saying, we won the chicken sandwich or the chicken sandwich wars are over. Now, no, they're not. Maybe they are, but you're not winning it. So, hey, if, if you like this, if you like any of these, good for you. Keep eating them. I'm telling you, this is not the best chicken sandwich on the market. Not even close. So, that one's going away. So, right now, we've got Chick-fil-A at one, Wendy's at two. 
boop, boop. That's where we're at. Let's keep going with this. Next up, I believe, is KFC. KFC? Yeah, KFC and then Burger King. Let's go try those out. So KFC's big thing is they have the crispy kernel sandwich, right? And it's KFC, they're the biggest chicken chain in the world, right? So they come out with a new one earlier this year in February. It's when it hit everywhere, I believe. And it's the new Kentucky Fried Chicken Sandwich. So they've got two versions of that, and there's a spicy one, which is a little disappointing because it just comes with a spicy sauce. They don't have a spicy filet. Um, now, that makes sense, I guess, because KFC doesn't have any spicy chicken. But they do have enough other batters, you'd think maybe they could figure that out. I don't know. Hi, can I get a number 12, uh, just the sandwich? Uh, that's gonna be it. Alright, 431. Thank you. And the price is right here. It's four bucks. So let's hope it's better than that Wendy's one. The Wendy's one, like I said, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't flavorful. There's was no flavor. It was crispy because it's deep fried, obviously, but other than that, there's really nothing going for it. There's people that love that sandwich. Now the spicy one adds a little bit of flavor to it. It gets spicy, but it's really not the one to go out of your way for. That Chick-fil-A one is great. Now, no matter how much you like that sandwich on a Sunday, it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, something else, I was thinking frozen chicken sandwich, and I got a link to a video above if you want to see. I've been getting this red, they call it red bag chicken from Aldi. It's Aldi Kirkwood frozen chicken breast fillets. And people say it tastes just like Chick-fil-A. And it doesn't, but when you get it nice and crispy and you cook it up, it is really good. It's amazing for a frozen chicken fillet, I think. And that's what everyone else seems to think, too. Not just me, but uh, yeah, one of my subscribers turned me on to that. A couple of them even. <laughs> Saying, you got to try that, you got to try that. And I did. It was great. But uh, I was hoping this line would move a little faster. There's some kid going insane in the car in front of me. Or maybe it's a dad checking up on his kid in the back. I don't know. I was in Wendy's and this kid was, kept going, Squirtle, Squirtle, you know, Pokemon. I'm like, man, it, it blows my mind that, what's, what's it been? <sighs> when did Pokemon come out? It's been like 20 years, hasn't it? Yeah, at least. And it's still going and kids are still into it. It hasn't died out, it's still cool, it's still it's still popular, they're still buying the cards, that's had a resurgence. That is stunning to me that Pokemon made it. But I get it, it's, it's catchy. You can catch them all, right? Uh, Hi. Okay. The few places I go to where they'll give me the bag while they're still ringing me up. What if it gets declined? They're not going to take the food back. Thank you. Enjoy. Have a good one. All right. So we got the bag. We got my card back. Let's go try this thing. Oh, I wish I could show you this. You know how they have the signs that have the lettering on them and whatnot? This one. It's not just the letters, they have graphics. It says, the chicken sandwich. Try one today. And then over three lines of that thing, they got a picture of the chicken sandwich. They are all about this. And I, I've seen in my comments, there are people that love this sandwich. It is the sandwich for them. So let's see right now how it compares to these other guys. KFC, we got the old Colonel there. Poor guy to be rolling over in his grave. You can see what they're doing with his image nowadays. <laughs> well, that's okay. I don't care. Screw them. I love KFC. All right, so again, foil bag. Just like, uh, just like, no? Yeah, just like Chick-fil-A. Wendy's had foil wrapper. Take this guy out. 
Now, KFC, it's chicken filet, pickles, and mayo. And a nice brioche bun. And today, they have, they have showed up. This is a sizable chicken breast in there. Check this thing out. And on the bottom, you see all that mayo and pickle. Give it a shot. Now that one's pretty good. I got no pickle and mayo in that. It's big and juicy. It, it tastes like KFC chicken. And that's the big draw to this. People love KFC chicken. This is KFC chicken in a sandwich. The breading's got a little bit of flavor to it, not a ton. And that's for better or worse, you know? Some people might prefer that. But the pickles and the mayo they use are pretty great. A little salty taste in for my liking. But I mean, compared to say, you know, we're gonna keep bringing this out, Chick-fil-A. Well, we'll bring some out at the end if we have to. But this is a good sandwich. A little peppery. Very juicy. For a while, this was my go-to because well, it may not be the best sandwich. I'm ranking this right behind Chick-fil-A right now. We'll go over that in a second. They seem to be the most consistent, at least my locations. You're always getting a decent sandwich. And even when it's kind of worse, it's still pretty good. I'm only putting it behind Chick-fil-A because this needed mayo to take it up a notch and the flavor is not as good as Chick-fil-A. The seasoning they use is fantastic. Someone pointed out that they still use MSG in their sandwich, like extra MSG. Most things have that naturally occurring. I don't get the fear of it. People are nuts. Uh, but it's still got MSG. That's one of monosodium glutamate. Uh, it's the umami flavor. Uh, it's in a lot of things naturally occurring. It's not some evil bad thing. There's some people with sensitivities, I guess. But if that's what it takes to elevate that sandwich to the next level, then so be it. Everyone else is screwing up as far as I'm concerned. So, KFC. Great presentation. It's got the, those are bigger pickles, delicious mayo. But the flavor just doesn't hit KFC level. Obviously, it smokes Wendy's. I would eat half of one of these before I ate a whole Wendy's sandwich for 80 cents less. Next, we're going to Burger King to try the chicken. And if you're a follower of my channel, hit that subscribe button if you're not. We do stuff like this, it's fun. I uh, I have a love-hate relationship with the chicken in that I want to love it. It looks amazing. I love the spicy version. I have only hated the non-spicy version. It's been out for months. I haven't been to this location in months. Have they learned how to make a chicken? Go find out. All right, so this is my fifth chicken sandwich. And I think all of them have been on the channel to some degree. I think they've all been on here. One of them was on my member section. Coincidentally, that was the only one I kinda liked. It was from a different location. Kinda liked it. It was mediocre, but it wasn't awful. Let's see how this one delivers. It comes in this giant bag. It says crispy, extra crispy. And hand breaded for next level crispiness. So this was called the hand breaded chicken sandwich before it was officially released. Now that it's out, it's called the Chicken. If it lived up to that name, maybe I wouldn't hate the name so much. But you know what? Let's give it another shot. Maybe it'll live up to the name today. So. You have this giant old bun, these giant pickles, this giant chicken filet, right? And then what appears to be mayo on top is actually the savory sauce that they use just on this sandwich. So at first look and just getting this, it's a beast. It looks the best, it looks the coolest. Like this has to be amazing, right? Well, let's give it a bite, see how it tastes.
One more bite. Let's get some pickle in there. So, my biggest problem with Burger King, with this sandwich, is their inconsistency. We'll get to really how I feel about this in a second. Oh, this isn't bad. I've had bad ones. Huge chicken filet, cooked properly, nice and juicy. Tons of meat. Um, the pickles are good. The savory sauce, you know, I don't know how I really feel about that sauce. It's a little sweet for a savory sauce. I think I'd rather have a mayo, but that's not my biggest bone to pick with this sandwich. It's that there's all this breading, right? It's super crispy. There's no flavor. There's like no flavor. This is the, I mean, does this have less flavor than the Wendy sandwich? I don't know, but it's down there. The breading just has no flavor. If that had an amazing seasoning in it, there's a good chance that could be the best sandwich if done, if cooked correctly, if there was flavor, but there isn't. It's bland, it's boring. Now this one is edible. I've had some that we didn't even want to finish. It was just bad. I think, I think my brother threw out half a sandwich once. He's like, this is garbage. How did they, how did they put this out? So I will say this one is pretty well done. It's got this big filet. It's cooked properly. It's the best you can get out of a chicken. So I'm going to put this below KFC because KFC had flavor. Even though this is a more visually impressive sandwich, by all means, it should be better. Like, look, you saw it, right? Right now we're at number one is Chick-fil-A, number two is KFC, number three is the Chicken, four is Wendy's. Now I will say I've had the spicy chicken, and that sauce is love it or hate it. And I, I wouldn't say I love it, but it's good. And a spicy chicken for some reason, when it gets into that breading or whatever they do there, that sandwich hits. That is a good sandwich. So if you want to experience the chicken, you know, it's not even super hot. It's like a sweet, like Nashville hot almost kind of vibe to it. It's like a sweet heat. Give the spicy chicken a shot. That's the way to go. I wouldn't fault you for liking that one. Um, so we got that, we got that, man. I need a drink. I got so many chicken sandwiches here. What am I doing with my life? Um, next up, we have Zaxby's. All right, yep, Zaxby's, then McDonald's, and then our final three? I can't even count anymore, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then I got four more. Seven, eight, eight, I don't know. What am I missing? We'll figure it out. Stay tuned. Here we go. So I'm at Zaxby's now. This is the first one that has a $5 chicken sandwich. It's their new signature sandwich. Let's give it a shot. I've had a few. Um, typically, I like this sandwich. Zaxby's isn't a nationwide chain. Um, they're in a bit more locations than one of the places I'm about to have, Bojangles. But they're still a pretty sizable chain. They're known for their chicken fingers. They gave me a side of their Zach sauce, which confuses me, because it's supposed to be on the sandwich. They also gave me a side of the spicy Zach sauce. All right. That one is cut and leaking, so that's cool. It's on me now. Thanks, guys. And then we have our sandwich, which is in the spicy wrapper, but I only got the regular one. So this one doesn't use a mayo. This one uses their signature sauce. And a little bit of breading just fell out. The breading's good. This goes for their tenders too, but it's not the most flavorful. So first off, they did give me the wrong thing. 
They gave me, oh, I don't know. I think this is the spicy. No, it's not. So it's a beautiful sandwich. Huge filet, you got pickles, you got this bun. Give it a shot. Pretty good. The pickles are great. These are the best pickles so far. Super tender, juicy filet. And it's flavorful. Like more so, way more so than the Burger King filet. Like, let me get you a bite of just the filet, no sauce. Yeah. But I wish it had more. More flavor in the breading, not from that sauce. And the sauce is great, don't get me wrong. So where do I rank it? I had trouble with this last time I did this as well. Mm. It's better than Wendy's. It's better than Chick- er, Better than Wendy's. Better than the Chicken at Burger King. But is it better than KFC? I think it's a better filet. The KFC filet is good, but it has that KFC taste to it, the texture. It was better at the time. You know what? I forgot. We can do this. We have the power. Let's bust that chicken KFC chicken sandwich back up. A problem with this one. I mean, look at it. It looks like the pale old man version, right? Like it it doesn't have that oomph that the other one does. And the chicken itself isn't as good. So I'm gonna put Zaxby's above KFC. Is it better than Chick-fil-A? See, we're getting to the point where this gets a little subjective. I think that Chick-fil-A filet itself is hard to beat, man. It's really flavorful. The pickles, the bun. So this is a different experience. It's got more going on with it. And you'll usually find me ordering one of these other sandwiches over the Chick-fil-A one. There's something just boring about it, right? But it's so good. So, you know, as much as I hate keeping Chick-fil-A at number one for now, we're keeping Chick-fil-A at number one. Next, we're going to McDonald's. And unless they find a way to absolutely freaking wow me, I can guarantee you they're not gonna be number one. But, new winners can be made today, surprises can be had. You could say it was showdown, summer 2021, right? Let's go try it out. All right, we're at McDonald's. Finally got a drink. McDonald's has the best drink deals. It's a dollar for any drink, any size. You can't beat that. And there was a mobile deal where if you bought anything, you can just get a free drink of any size. So I got a giant Coca-Cola here. So good. I've heard different people say why the Coke's better here. McDonald's themselves and Coke, they've said it's not different. It's the same Coca-Cola. Uh, I don't know if it's the ratios they've got their fountains tuned to, or some people say it's the aluminum. It's just syrup, guys. The aluminum containers, they ship things. I don't think they even get aluminum stuff. I don't know, yeah, they're a bit nuts. But, the fact of the matter is they do have Usually, a good Coca-Cola. I've gotten bad ones, very disappointing. Okay, so, when this sandwich came out, McDonald's did me wrong, because it came out early basically everywhere. I was able to order it online at this one store. So when I get to the drive-thru, 
No, I've got videos telling stories of this if you look it up. Look at my McDonald's crispy chicken sandwich. Uh, these guys give me a like pancake container, you know, for their pancakes in the morning. And I had ordered one of the spices and one of the regulars. And what they gave me was a pancake container with a spicy McChicken filet and a regular McChicken filet, the dollar sandwich. And I'm like, yo, this isn't what I ordered. Like, well, I ordered the sandwich. He's like, oh, well, those aren't out till tomorrow. Uh, or those aren't out yet. I'm like, well, they were in the app. He's like, Ugh. like, he was mad that I was upset about getting two fillets in this thing. And I'm like, okay, so you, you can't get me one. Can I get a refund? He's like, you gotta go through the app. I was so mad. I was so mad. Like, he saw no problem. I'm like, can I get a refund? He's like, oh, you don't want them? I'm like, no, I don't want them, you asshole. And I eventually got my hands on it. Now I got my hands on another. Let's give it a shot. This replaces the home style chicken sandwich, which by all means wasn't a bad chicken sandwich. It just wasn't. It, it couldn't compete with all these new amazing ones. So this was supposed to be their answer. All the franchisees wanted a new chicken sandwich that could compete with Popeyes. So they got this, the crispy chicken sandwich. Buttered toasted bun, pickles, and a crispy filet. No mayo. They think they've got Chick-fil-A level stuff where they don't need the mayo. Let's uh, give it a bite here. I think this is a potato roll. I don't know. See how it is. Boring. It needs something. It's not, there's no flavor. That lady's got her feet jammed up on the freaking airbag front whatever of her car. If they got in an accident, she would be extra super screwed up. Y'all shouldn't do that. I don't know if you don't if you realize that or what. That's what the sandwich looks like. It's pretty boring. Like there's no flavor whatsoever. There's no flavor from the bun. You got the pickles, but it needs mayo or something. I don't even want to take another bite. That said, if you toss this up with some sauce on it, if you get the spicy version, which is just the same thing, but with a pretty tasty, pretty hot spicy sauce on it, it's not a bad sandwich. And the non-spicy version, at least at my location, comes out to $3.59. So it's the lowest price so far. Or it might be down there with Chick-fil-A's. I don't remember what Chick-fil-A's was priced at. Chick-fil-A is number one though. So where do I rank that? Honestly, it's tough. I mean, is it at the bottom or is it better than Wendy's? The Wendy's one at least had some flavor, right? The filet wasn't as big. But it, it put toppings on it. Guys, I don't know. I mean, I don't know where I rank that. Is it, is it the bottom? I think it has to be. It's the one I've enjoyed the least here today. I'm doing this one by one so you can taste them all fresh. Um, I don't know. That lady just looked and she realized she's on camera. I don't know, that's her problem. Anyways, next up, I think we are gonna go out to where I either do Bojangles next or I do Bojangles last because I gotta go out to this other town to get all the sandwiches I'm doing. Popeyes is over in a place called Malden. We only have two Popeyes in this whole, like, well, three, I guess, in the whole region. So, I don't know. This will make it a surprise. Here we go. <sighs> Guys, it turns out taking bites of six different chicken sandwiches adds up, but we gotta do this. I was gonna do Dairy Queen. I'm not doing Dairy Queen. I haven't done Dairy Queen yet. Nobody raves about Dairy Queen chicken sandwiches. I'm sure I'm not really missing anything there. I had a subscriber request. I will try it eventually here, so stay tuned for that. But today, not today, I've been filming all day. Right now we're at Hardee's, which is the same as Carl's Jr. essentially. They were different, then they merged, then they 
there's the same company, but they try to be kind of different, but at the end of the day, they're, they're the same thing. So they both have this new hand-breaded chicken sandwich. Which I think I was able to rank before. Maybe? I don't remember if it came out, it might have came out after I did my, my series last time, so. You have it in this box, hand-breaded chicken sandwich, Hardee's Carl's Jr. Let's take her out. This one is hot, this one is fresh. It's a little different from the last couple times I got it. And you got this nice roll, big chicken filet. Now mayo on top, just a little bit of mayo, kind of skimped there, but whatever. And you're supposed to have mayo and pickles on the bottom, but I just have mayo. Kind of dropped the ball there. Maybe they're out, I don't know. Gotta roll up the punches here. Let's give it a shot. That is fresh. It's really greasy. I'm kind of bummed that they forgot the pickles. Um, let's get a bite of just the filet in the back here. I don't know how to feel about this one today. It's good. First time I had it was better. At least I remember liking it more. The filet is kind of, it looks big, but it's kind of folded weird. So it's not really a ton of chicken. The chicken itself is juicy, it's tender, and it's a really crispy batter. I wish the batter had a little more flavor to it. I swear it did last time I got it. Eh, it's got flavor. Wish it was more. That's pretty good. This particular one, I wouldn't write home about this guy. Um, so where would I rank it? It's better than McDonald's, obviously. It's better than Wendy's. It's got some flavor and juiciness. And I've had one that was really sizable, but I'm ranking off of this one. I forgot the pickles. The pickles add a nice touch, but even then, how does this compare? I don't even remember. I got the list up here. Check it out. I think we're going under... Is it better or worse than the chicken? It's got more flavor. Because the chicken has absolutely no flavor. You know, it pains me to do this. Well, there's barely any mayo. This thing is drenched in grease. Absolute butter? Is it because they butter the bun? Yeah, it's a good bun. Butter will do that. Um, I gotta put this under the chicken. Like, Really? I had this before and I loved it. So that's the problem with these hand-breaded ones anywhere. They're very inconsistent. Now I get people in the comments going, well, they're always the same at mine. Well, lucky you, because I guarantee you not everybody that's come out of your store has had the same experience. You really think that? Get your head out of your ass. Um, I see that a lot with Popeyes. We're out of there. Popeyes sometimes churns out I consider one of the most mediocre chicken sandwiches on the market. And then other times they churn out a perfect example of what a crispy fried chicken sandwich should be. Very inconsistent. I get comments going, well, you you have bad Popeyes. Dude, just stop. Just stop. Throw the F up. Anyways. <clears throat> That's Hardy's Carl's Jr. 
in the chicken. A bigger filet. Yeah, maybe a little less flavor, but a ton less grease. That's so greasy for some reason today. And you're not getting the flavor from having all that extra buttery greasiness. And they barely put any mayo. I forgot the pickles. Really just, that one, I don't know if I'm even gonna finish it. I put all the rest of them in the fridge. I stopped at home quick, because I actually want to have them. I can't have them sitting in this toasty summer car all day. Then I'm just extra wasting money. So, we've got two left, right? Yeah. We've got Bojangles, and we've got Popeyes, which I didn't know where I was gonna, when I was gonna do Bojangles on this list. I have been very vocal about how much I love the Bojangles chicken sandwich, because I do, but it's also, like I said, pretty inconsistent. I've had varying ranges of it that may or may not rank where it has been. So, we're gonna go get Popeyes, we're gonna go get Bojangles. They may not end up being at the top. That Chick-fil-A sandwich was delicious. It was a great example of what a Chick-fil-A sandwich should be, minus the little pickles they kind of screwed up on. The flavor is there, we still got the experience. I need to reload on my drink. They've got a special Mountain Dew at Bojangles. I think we'll go get that. Um, so, we're gonna go grab it. Something I just wanna throw in there, if you're watching this still, I'm thinking about starting, I'm, th I'm gonna do like a chicken wing videos on my channel where I do hot sauces. And I want it to be kinda like hot ones. I love hot ones. Who doesn't love hot ones? Now, I'm no celebrity, and I don't have an interviewer, but I got you guys, so. In the comments, it could be a separate comment from anything you have to say about this video, you know, whatever. In the comments, leave me questions. Topics you want to hear me talk about, situational questions, anything. Um, I can do fast food, I can do less, I, I like to talk about things that aren't fast food. Sometimes I'll do live streams, and I get it, I'm a food champ. People want to ask questions about fast food, I get that, but honestly, I, I'd rather talk about anything else. When I'm doing these videos is when I like talking about fast food. It's practically like a second jab, just not with the income of a second jab. <laughs> but uh, yeah, leave those questions below. I got hot sauces galore coming in, trust me. You're gonna see me suffer, unless, I, <laughs> unless it kills me. I got the last dab. I've had the last dab before. That's a, that's a painful experience. Not for Poppy. All right, off to Bojangles. And that Bojangles, it is no secret that I absolutely adore this chicken sandwich. I have said this is my favorite chicken sandwich. I have said this sandwich wins the chicken sandwich wars. I'm not gonna pretend I haven't. So, a couple things can happen here. That Chick-fil-A sandwich was really good. This, if they drop the ball on this one, might not rank at the top. Even if it beats Chick-fil-A, Popeyes could really wow me. These are things that can happen here. This is, this is what can happen. So, actually, I'm, I got the combo because I wanted a drink. So you get their fries. I love their fries. But this isn't about the fries. This is about the new Bo's chicken sandwich. Now, this is very much a regional chain. It's southeast. The furthest north it goes is Pennsylvania. There's like one store in Pennsylvania, like southern Pennsylvania. Um, I think the furthest west it goes is like, I think Tennessee, maybe. Might be down in Georgia as well. I don't, I don't know. Um, so very much a southeastern chain. Most of you can't try this, and I feel bad. Uh, they actually, like, when they rolled this out officially, I, I was in a test market, so I was able to go get it, and I loved it. And I was like, when's it coming out? And it came out, and they rolled it out in New York City. They brought their food truck up, they brought the chef up there. Everyone was eating Bo's chicken sandwiches for free in Times Square. And I was like, that's pretty cool. So hopefully they expand up that way. But anyways, Bo's chicken sandwich. You got, they tell you what's on the sandwich here. You've got this toasted, buttered, bakery bun. 
whatever else it says there. Crispy, crunchy buttermilk coating, marinated hand breaded chicken breast, secret blend of bold spices, creamy mayo, thick cut dill pickles. Secret blend of bold spices. Now the bold spices are where this thing shines. So let's pull this one out. I've got a Bose chicken sandwich here. I've got some things to say about this one already, but you got these thick cut dill pickles. It's delicious looking filet. This somewhat small looking filet with an incredible lack of mayo on there. What's going on guys? There's no more on the bottom. It's a little disappointing. But ultimately we're after the flavor. So let's dig in. Give it another bite. They really skimped on the mayo with this one, guys. I'm trying to get some pickle action in there. Like, the filet's kind of small and miserable. Um, you might have saw me twitch or something there. It had a weird flavor, like it was old oil or something. Like there was something off about the breading. The pickle's good. I said Bojangles could drop the ball. I think they did. Um, the big thing about the Bose chicken sandwich that makes it usually my favorite are the seasonings, the spices. It's the same seasoning as their fried chicken. I think their fried chicken is the best of any chain. And this has that, but I don't know if it's not as much as they use or I don't know what they screwed up on, but it's not very flavorful. The filet is tiny. I'm, I'm not loving it. Usually, this is my go-to sandwich. I love this sandwich. But I've seen other people review, and they've gotten ones that they hate it. I'm like, how can you possibly hate that? It's the best sandwich. Well, they probably got one like this with, like, a tiny squirt of mayo and barely any flavor. Oh, Jangles, you let me down. I'd rather eat the Chick-fil-A sandwich I had today than this one. I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Like, it's it's spicier. Those seasonings are spicy. Not like a spicy Chick-fil-A spicy, but, like, more kick than your typical chicken sandwich. It's absolutely perfect, usually. But turns out they can screw up. I'm getting some heat from that. Just a bit. Seems to just be on the bottom. You can usually see like there's this red ring of spices around the chicken. It's normally way more seasoned than any other person's chicken. So I'm not putting this above Chick-fil-A. Um, heck, even my Zaxby's sandwich today was better than this. That said, this is way better than that Hardy sandwich and it's got way more flavor than that chicken. So I'm gonna put this right below Zaxby's today. That's where it's ranking. That's really disappointing. Eh, this is what it is. You can't win them all. Um, if you're near one of these though, I recommend you go try it because I have had other ones and they've blown this one out of the water. Disappointing, disappointing. Oh well, at least I got the combo. I had a straw. Probably should find that straw. Ah, crammed it down here. Because Bojangles has their own Mountain Dew flavor. Kind of cool. Southern Shock. 
and it was one of my first reviews on this channel, actually. I made a joke that pissed somebody off. I'm like, I don't know what Southern is supposed to taste like. It's supposed to be like grits or fried chicken or sweet tea. They didn't find that so funny. It's like a Hawaiian punch, sort of fruit punch Mountain Dew. It's really good. It's grown on me. I get this every time, even though I've like sworn off of sugary drinks. I know, I just got a Coke. We're, we're being bad today. I always get this. Really good. But yeah, okay. Huh. Bo's let me down. Never been to this location. This one apparently can't do the sandwich. Um, well, off to Popeyes. I've had Popeye's sandwiches that are worse than what I just had, and I've had Popeye's sandwiches that are way better. How will they do today? Let's find out. Oh my god, guys. I'm sitting here in this never-ending Popeye's line. I am just, I've clearly been eating more of these sandwiches than I thought. I am so full. I really hope this one hits the spot. I'll probably eat half of it. I'll call it a day on food. <laughs> I don't need dinner after this, good god. But, I'm sitting here in line, right? And this employee walks out. He's got an ice cold looking Heineken in his hand. I'm like, you, uh, you, you keep Heinekens in the fridge there at work just to take out with you? Okay. Weird. Funny, whatever. Done. Then, like a minute later, a couple minutes later, I see him walking back. Heineken's open. He's sipping on it, drinking it, about to walk back in. Also smoking. Doesn't put out a cigarette before he walks in the Popeyes. Goes in with the open beer. I'm like, where am I? What is this? Luckily, he wasn't going back to work because he walked back out another minute later. I think his shift was over. But uh, apparently, that's that's what you do now. You you wrap up your shift at the old Popeyes. You grab a Heine from the fridge. Crack that bitch open. You have a smoke. Reminisce about all the chicken you just fried up. Pour one out for the little chicken homies, right? And then, uh, call it a day. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was funny, though. Whatever. Um, I ordered my chicken sandwich on the app. I had enough points to actually get a free one. So, yeah, there's $4 off of today's total of I don't know what I'm at at this point. So, I'm gonna get this thing. We're gonna see if Popeye is, in fact can uh, take back the number one spot because in chicken sandwich month, Bojangles took that spot. Bojangles earned it, Bojangles usually earns it. That is an amazing sandwich. Even after I stopped filming, I was like, really? I took another bite? Nah, they blew it on that sandwich. Very disappointing. So let me go get this sandwich. We'll wrap this thing up. Popeyes. Famous Louisiana chicken. All right, guys. Did you give me a perfect sandwich or are you gonna let me down? Let's find out. I can't take another let down today. But Popeyes is so good at letting me down. Bojangles had never let me down before that, really. What do we have? The old Popeyes. Oh, this one looking good. This, so far it looks like the perfect Popeyes chicken sandwich. Huge chicken breast, very crispy. Pickled mayo. Let's give her a bite. That was mostly breading. Let's give her another bite somewhere else. <laughs> Pretty good. I actually do have a bone to pick with Popeyes with their chicken sandwich that over time has become more apparent. It's not the most flavorful sandwich. I don't get why not, because their chicken's pretty flavorful. Their nuggets aren't. But man, the crunch. They have the best breading in the game. 
If this breading had like tons of seasoning, now we're talking, right? The chicken's good, the chicken's juicy. This thing is fresh. It's got like a light taste to it. It's got the pickles, it's got the mayo. I don't know where to rank it. This sandwich has like gotten worse to me over time. It's not as good as the Chick-fil-A sandwich. If the Chick-fil-A sandwich had all the flavor of the Chick-fil-A sandwich but was breaded like the Popeye sandwich, that would be hard to beat. That would be hard to beat. Or if this had the flavor that the Bojangles sandwich is supposed to have, it'd be hard to beat. Last time I did this, I got one of these sandwiches I thought was delicious. This one's not doing it for me. There's just no flavor in that breading. I mean, and it starts to get small towards the back. It's otherwise a pretty good chicken sandwich, but I can't put this at number one. Is it better than Zaxby's? Here's the thing with the Zaxby's one, right? It had that sauce for flavor. Without that sauce, it trends more towards this one. I like the breading on this one better than the Zaxby's one. So given that, given that this is like perfect other than the somewhat lack of flavor, and you can fix that by getting the spicy version, but you're not getting a spicy filet. They don't have a spicy filet for this. It's spicy sauce. That would give you a flavor. This would be amazing with that spicy sauce on it. I think I'm gonna put it under, under Chick-fil-A. Right? Not the order? Chick-fil-A. Popeyes, Zaxby's. Where did I go from there? Did Bojangles come next? Is it actually still as better than the chicken? I don't remember. There's the list, guys. That's enough chicken sandwiches. No human should ever consume uh, this much chicken sandwich in one day. I, uh, I've learned my lesson. <laughs> no more videos like this. Holy crap. But thank you for tuning in. If you sat through this, if you enjoyed it, I left out a few chicken sandwiches. I left out a lot either because they're, I already know they're not good. Or I can't get them. Like Golden Chick, for example, is mostly a Texas chain with locations in a couple other, a few other states. Their sandwich is kind of mediocre. Sonic's chicken sandwich is mediocre. Uh, I didn't bother with Dairy Queen, even though there's one right there. Um, I've had Shake Shack. That's an amazing chicken sandwich. Honestly, the sandwiches I've had from there blow away everything I had today, somehow. But that's two hours away from me. But if you're near one, go, go try one. Uh, especially whatever their newest one is there, that's so good. I did a review, link above or something. Go check that out. That's really good. I can't get Jollibee. They're expanding fast, but Nowhere near South Carolina. Virginia Beach is the closest one. I know there's one in Florida too. So, no Jollibee. I hear that's a pretty good sandwich. Not perfect, but it's definitely got the potential. So I'd like to try that sometime. I think that's pretty much every other chain there is, isn't there? What a burger. Yeah, they've got a chicken sandwich, don't they? Did I try that? I think I did. I think it was A. I don't know. Thanks for being here, guys. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Like I said, I'm looking for questions for my Hot Ones Chicken One, Hot Ones Like Chicken Wing video thing I'm gonna do. So let me know those in the comments. 
me know your thoughts. Hit that like button if you liked the video. It means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. Again, I'm Poppy. This is Poppy Eats. Today, Poppy ate way too much fried chicken sandwich. Y'all take care.